Brains interacting directly with computers used to be something of science fiction, but a new step being done at Stanford University is taking that idea out of science fiction and bringing it into reality. Scientists at Stanford University have developed brain sensing technology that allows users to interface directly with the computer to move cursors and type up to 12 words per minute. And that's quite a bit faster than anything that's been done before, especially for brain to computer interactions. The way they've achieved this is by putting little electrodes inside of the part of the brain that controls motor movements. They then developed a computer software which could decode the brain's signals for how it wanted to move the cursor. To see if this technology was working, they used monkeys and got them to type passages from either the New York Times or from Hamlet, no doubt inspired by the old saying that an infinite number of monkeys on an infinite number of typewriters would eventually reproduce the works of Shakespeare. Now, what they've found is that you don't actually need typewriters, you just need electrodes plugged into the movement centers of the brain and have the monkey plagiarize the Shakespearean text. So it's much, much easier than previously thought. But jokes aside, this technology will go a long way to helping those with movement disabilities. A nice famous case would be, of course, Stephen Hawking, who's only really able to twitch his eye to move a cursor around. And with this technology, with zero movement at all, Stephen Hawking could actually type words at a rate similar, if not better, to what he has now, without even needing to twitch an eye. Which I'm sure he'd find greatly beneficial. And of course, there's more than just Stephen Hawking out there with uh, movement disabilities. So this technology could be revolutionary in opening up new communication channels with those who have movement disabilities. But this is just another step in a long walk towards the ability to communicate with computers directly. And it's exciting and slightly worrying to see how this technology is developing and how it will move forward into the future. But one thing's for sure, it'll be interesting to see how it all changes and how society reacts to the technology as it comes along. Future and societal changes aside, thanks for watching and come back next time to see what else is happening in the world of science.